When they received this picture, scientists were confused. What is here? 75 years ago, it was made by a rocket that was previously used to bomb cities. At an altitude of 105 meters, it took a few shots and shattered to pieces. But the film survived, and it provoked many questions, the answers to which are increasing every year. In this video, you'll find out which planet resembles the paintings of Van Gogh, where did the Arab probe go first, and where did astronomers see a horse's head? Hello. The Hubble Telescope Even those who aren't interested in space have heard about this space telescope. It has transmitted countless photographs of planets, star clusters, and space debris back to us here on Earth. It allowed us to discover the age of the universe, proved the existence of supermassive black holes and exoplanets, and revealed numerous other amazing finds in our cosmos. Just look at these photos, but be careful, they can really blow your mind. This image is considered to be one of the most famous photographs ever taken by the Hubble telescope. It's called the Pillars of Creation, and that's no coincidence, as it captures an active star-forming region in the Eagle Nebula. The pillars in the center of the photo are the result of the movement of charged particles and the cosmic wind. Outgoing streams of ionized gas are visible along the edges of the mountain ridge. What do you think is the secret of its shades of color? Each of them demonstrates different chemical elements. The blue zones are characterized by a high content of oxygen, green, hydrogen, and nitrogen, and red, sulfur. How do you like this nebula? The astronomers who first discovered it decided that it looks like a horse's head. Although officially it's called Barnard 33, this nebula is also known as the Horsehead Nebula. Here it seems as if storm clouds swooped down and covered the entire sky. In fact, in front of you, there are many young blue star clusters, giant glowing gas clouds, and dark dust lanes that cross Centaurus A. Is there life on Saturn? It was a mystery for decades until the Cassini probe set off for the nooks and crannies of this planet. Then it became clear that the galaxy around us is truly huge. It has an almost unfair number of planets, is there really no life there? Cassini didn't find an answer to this question, but it managed to become the first artificial satellite of Saturn and pass between its rings. It told us a lot about the Saturnian system, and in addition, it took a lot of beautiful photos, 323 to be exact, which was considered a record for quite a long time. For example, here you can see the rings of Saturn, which are illuminated by the Sun. Next to them, you can see a small dot. It is our Earth. Or here's another photograph compiled from 140 images in which the Earth peeks out from behind the rings of a giant planet. Now you realize just how tiny we are in the universe. In this photo was taken in 2013 and looks like an illustration for a science fiction movie. What do you think it is? It's just a North Pole storm over Saturn. Perhaps Cassini could have pleased us with other pictures, but its 20-year mission came to an end. The device entered the dense layers of Saturn's atmosphere and burned up. Astrophysicists sent it to certain death after it ran out of fuel. After the death of the probe, Cassini's last photographs came to Earth. They depict the night side of Saturn. The panorama is illuminated by sunlight reflecting off the rings of the gas giant. The pictures were black and white, but NASA added color, and now you can meditate on them.
we've received the strangest image of a satellite of Jupiter, which stirred NASA up in earnest and became one of the main discoveries of the entire Voyager mission. It turned out to be a volcanic eruption on Io, which made scientists understand that there are active volcanoes outside of the Earth. In general, the journey of the Voyagers has been going on for more than 40 years, and during this time, they managed to amaze us with many other images. Ready for the Parker Solar Probe NASA shots? Compared to the Voyagers, it's a very young traveler and journeyed into space just in the summer of 2018. Its main mission is to study the outer corona of the Sun. However, on its way to the Sun, the Parker probe has already taken a photo of the night side of Venus. The right side of the photo is filled with stars, while the left side is occupied by Venus. The dark spot in the center of the image is Aphrodite Terra, the largest mountainous region on the surface of Venus. The bright tracks in the image are generated by cosmic rays, cosmic dust particles reflecting sunlight, and particles from the probe itself. The dark spot at the bottom of Venus is an artifact of the image. The thin, bright region around the edge of the planet may be a night glow in Venus's upper atmosphere, created by oxygen atoms. Now, we suggest going to Jupiter. The photographs obtained from the Juno spacecraft will help us with this planet. They're often compared to paintings by Claude Monet and Van Gogh. People with a rich imagination see aliens, dolphins, and dragons here. One thing is clear, it's impossible not to admire the views that we can observe thanks to the Juno Cam optical camera. Also, the fact is that scientists made a mistake once again. This planet is much more complicated and interesting than they thought. Take a closer look at the details in this photo. They literally make you uncomfortable. This is an image of the south pole of Jupiter, which we can see thanks to several photographs stitched together. In reality, the poles are only half illuminated due to the slight tilt of the planet's axis of rotation, but thanks to the imaging of enthusiasts, we can see the pole in all its glory. And this photo gives us shivers, but NASA experts say that this is a common phenomenon for Jupiter, vortex clouds over the northern hemisphere of the planet. Thanks to color correction, the frame shows part of the northern temperate zone, a noticeable red-orange region located in the region of 40 degrees in the northern part of the planet. The giant storm, known as the White Oval, is also visible in the photo, along with a series of small cloudy regions. The dark regions reflect places where the cloud cover descends closer to the interior of the planet. According to the infrared sensor, these dark regions are hotter than the upper swirling regions. Would you like to go on a tour to the rings of Jupiter and see them from the inside? The Juno probe has already been here. Its first ever photograph of Jupiter's inside rings make us turn on our fantasy to the maximum. The probe was just under 3,000 miles away and took this photo with a star tracker. Even the background turned out to be remarkable. The upper part of the constellation Orion made it into the frame, and the bright star is Betelgeuse. Our next stop is Pluto. A few years ago, the automatic interplanetary New Horizons probe went there with gifts. In addition to scientific equipment, it brought a capsule with some of the ashes of Clyde Tombaugh, the discoverer of Pluto. As well as a CD with the names of 434,738 people who participated in the Send Your Name to Pluto NASA action, as well as two coins. two U.S. flags, a Spaceship One fragment, which was the first manned private spacecraft, a CD with photographs of the craft and its developers, and a 1991 U.S. postage stamp. 
This is probably the most famous photograph of our dwarf planet, titled The Heart of Pluto. It was taken on July 13, 2015, from a distance of about 768,000 kilometers. Pluto doesn't have a very thick atmosphere, but we managed to photograph it too. It's really blue. When scientists received this image, they decided that they simply must have drunk too much coffee. Later, they finally agreed that there really were mountain ranges on the surface of Pluto, covered with caps of methane snow. And of course, we can't forget Mars. Unlike other planets, numerous expeditions have recently lined up to visit this angry red planet. In just one month, in 2021, scientists successfully launched the Al Amal Interplanetary Station into Martian orbit, the first in the history of the UAE and the entire Middle East region. This was soon followed by the Chinese orbital Tianwen-1 probe, and then NASA's Perseverance rover caught up with them. Tianwen-1 managed to photograph the southern and northern hemispheres of Mars, and in these photos, they have the shape of a crescent. Despite the fact that most of the planet was in shadow, they look bewitching. Also, the Chinese probe took detailed photographs of the Martian surface, which show craters, mountain ranges, and dunes. According to experts, the diameter of the largest crater recorded in the image is about 620 meters. The Arab Hope probe also managed to take a panoramic picture of the red planet, which I would like to consider in detail. The photo shows three shield volcanoes standing in a row, and Mount Olympus, an extinct volcano on Mars, the highest in the solar system. Astronomers observing the red planet through telescopes on Earth are familiar with this view, but this is a rare image for satellites near Mars. Who knows, perhaps in the near future, some countries will be able to create the first Martian base and enter the annals of space exploration forever. In the meantime, it remains for us to enjoy these beautiful pictures of these amazing planets, while we strive to live our lives peacefully here on good old planet Earth. We have no place to go just yet, but that's just for now. If you agree with The Great Scientist, be sure to like and subscribe. The more likes we have, the more interesting content the Hubble Channel produces, as it has already happened by tradition. If under this video we managed to collect 1,000 thumbs up, a new, very, very exciting video will be released immediately. The main thing to remember is, educational videos promote the development of intelligence, and don't you forget it.